And here we're doing a hardwood floor cleaning for a new client. Um, this floor has a lot of dog saliva and it's really caked on to the floor. So normal mopping does not remove this. And um, so we're gonna be using the Bissell Low Boy and then for the tighter spots, we're gonna be using the Auric Orbiter. Now, there is um, some floor mats that are stuck onto the floor. We're gonna work around them. Um, there's some area rugs we're gonna work, work around, dog cage, that sort of thing. We're gonna work around all that sort of stuff. Um, but we're gonna hit up the traffic areas throughout the house. Um, this is a rather large house. There is wood floor throughout the entire house. And since we're the, the, the client needs to be back in the home fairly quick, um, we're going to have to uh, adjust our methods. Uh, usually, I would use a higher pH product and extract, but well, we're not going to be able to do that today. But we're going to use the orbital machines. And since we're not going to be able to rinse the floor afterwards, we're going to use a neutral product. Usually, I'd like to use some sort of intensive floor treatment. But we're going to use uh, um, the neutral product, which is the Odoban neutral floor cleaner and we spiked a little bit of it with um, vital oxide which is CLO2 for disinfection and, uh, purposes and just it, it's an oxidizer mild oxidizer so it's good for uh, disinfecting the floors and, and, and making them safer now we're not guaranteeing disinfection although you can test for disinfection on hard surfaces we don't have that ability yet so we don't make that claim but we we do we do the, tell the client that we're going to make your floors look spectacular and i don't know if the video showed in the beginning how bad the the floor look i mean the floors aren't like the worst i've seen but but this kind of soil, like with the dog saliva and the water spots, there's a lot of water spots. Water spots spots are very hard to get out on this, on on this uh, f these kind of floors. Um, certain finishes really hold water spots really well, and uh, they can be really hard to get out. And you can't get them out with um, just mopping. You need some sort of agitation. And that's where this one inch thick microfiber bonnet and the Bissell Low Boy, which is, a, which is an orbital machine, comes into play. So it, it, then that, that right there, that is, that's not, that, that mat's not going anywhere. Um, that is, sealed on to the um, floor. The client doesn't want to walk on the mat and slip and fall. Uh, I see people do that sometimes. Sometimes those, those mats can be death traps. And the process with this is we, we did a pre-vacuuming first and um, my assistant's vacuuming uh, the other side of the house. We vacuumed here first. He's vacuuming the other side of the house. So when I get to the other side, we'll start the uh, cleaning process. And the floors are gonna look fantastic. The, the, the new client was just completely amazed at the job we did. I Like I said earlier, I don't know if, um, Justice is going to be served here as far as the appearance of the floor before and after. Uh, 
I'm hoping that that in the 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 beginning shots you get to see the the uh, the the spots on the floor, but I'm not sure if if that was because when I look back on the phone I can't see it. So when I watch it on the television, uh, maybe I could see it. I don't know. Maybe y'all will be able to see it. I don't know. But 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 what you will see at the end of the video is the floors look much more brilliant and shiny and they look really nice. And you will see, I will show the pad. I don't always show the pad in these videos, but today I will. And that one actually got moved, but it's not on this frame. And so this this client is a uh, was actually a next door neighbor of another client. They found us. Uh, the the neighbor liked our work, and this client um, heard about us, and then they uh, called us, and we set up a, a a cleaning for this month and next month. And the, they have pets, so it's a good way to maintain your floors, this method. It's like a deep cleaning, but it's also a good maintenance clean. We're not getting the floors too wet. Um, all we're doing is just removing soil from the floor safely and effectively. And uh, before we did the vacuuming, we did uh, we did use a little Swiffer duster, went around, did the fans, because naturally people turn on their fans, and we um, we did the baseboards. And you can see this area right here is all clean, and the floor looks just fantastic. Uh, I believe down there, at least over here, is clean. You can see how shiny they are. No, we're not applying. We're, we're not putting on a finish. These floors, they're about a year and a half old, and um, we're not going to apply a finish. They don't need one. I feel. And right here, uh, just to get in between some of those areas where the there's a little dog that could actually kind of fit through there. And, you know, these areas here, we're using the uh, microfiber mop. And uh, some of the edges we use this mop for. It's always good to have an, uh, when you're ever, whenever you're doing this wood floor work, it's good to have a mop and, and a doodle bug and that sort of thing. You, you get your edging and um, have plenty of bonnets. Sometimes you're going to need a lot. And the Bissell Lowboy it just eats away at the stains. Um, the orc does a great job at eating away at the stains too. But um, the idea with this job was, is we were gonna have two orbitals run at the same time. But instead we just, I vacuumed one side of the house and the assistant vacuumed the other side and uh, I got done first. So I'm using the Bissell. And um, you can see right here, floors look really clean. We clean this, this part right here. And all the water spots are gone. We're about to get this side here. And 
and there was a couple of uh, scrapes on the floor. Um, we're not, this method doesn't remove scrapes, just the soil that's on the floor. Um, uh, and we're not adding a finish and we're not uh, removing any finish. All we're doing is cleaning. But when we get done, um, the floors are gonna look pretty new. Even, I mean, when you think about it, these floors are kind of new, a year and a half old. I mean, that's that's really, that's new to me. And uh, here's the uh, first pad here. Do a comparison with the uh, clean pad. And you could see how much dirty it is. And you know, those, those blue pads, they tend not to show the dirt uh, when you're clean, but, but you, uh, obviously you could see how dirty that floor is. And right now we're getting the, using the auric orbiter. We're gonna go into some of the bedrooms uh, in smaller areas and um, that machine is just gonna be too big. And this does a great job also, which is just smaller, but it does, uh, I can, I could have done the whole house with this machine, but, um, you know, we were going to have two people use this machine, as I stated earlier, uh, but um, two people use the machines, um, but we're just, uh, uh, I was just able to vacuum faster and uh, the assistant's putting some stuff in the van so uh, I'm gonna do a little filming with the uh, auric and, and there's not much more but but uh, stick around to see the after because the after is uh, you know that's the floors do look a lot better, much more shiny. It does have a brilliant look to it. And the customer has a peace of mind that the floors are clean and sanitary. And that's the most important thing. You know, the customer wants to see results, you know. It's not the same if I just say, oh yeah, the, the floors are much better off and, and, and they still look uh, dull and, and worn, you know, so. We're doing this little area right here, just to touch it up, you make it a little bit more uh, shiny, add a little bit more brilliance to it. as well as clean. And the floors are finished. And here is the auric pad you could see flipped over. It's uh, pretty soiled. Um, big improvement on the floors. Uh, very shiny, very nice. No finish, neutral product, safe neutral product. And you can just see how the floors, they just look, uh, I think they look really good. The client just went on and on about how great they looked. She just couldn't believe it. And you can see how shiny and brilliant the floors are. You can go blind over there. Um, we got this room here. Um, this was a large home. We got couldn't film in every room, but we we definitely cleaned a uh, very very extensive amount, and we did move these chairs out and all that. But you, it's just uh, the kitchen came out really nice. Just the floors just like came out amazing and just a neutral product and the Bissell and the Auric Orbiter. And that 
that'll do it for today and thanks for watching.